All right, it's time for some power modded ray tracing numbers. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. So we're gonna be finally getting into some um, like actual gaming benchmarks here today. So um, finally I got the 3080 successfully power modded. That would, that, that, that was a shit show in itself, but I got it. Um, so now we can actually get into the nitty gritty of uh, 2080 Ti versus 3080, both power modded gaming benchmarks. As a side note, I'm getting a 3090 today in the mail. So, yeah, I got one. So, comment down below what's the first thing that you want me to test with that card. Uh, the world is our oyster. I got one. Uh, let's, let's go nuts with it. What do you want me to do with it? I actually got the For the Win 3 Ultra 3090. So... I'll do uh, an unboxing and teardown video of that one. Uh, that'll be a sep That'll be the first video I do, just so people that are interested in that card can see how it's constructed and stuff like that. But anyway, today we're going to be focusing on ray tracing benchmarks. So we got uh, five games today. We got uh, Deliver Us the Moon, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Fortnite, Wolfenstein Youngblood, and... What, what was the... Oh yeah, and Control. Obviously Control. It's always got to have Control. So we're going to do... They're all going to be in 4K. And we're going to do 4K without DLSS max settings. See what the FPS is between both cards. Then we're going to do 4K max settings ray tracing with DLSS. Us if, there, if there's a toggle, it will be in quality mode. And I'm going to have uh, all the bar graphs come up for you guys. As always with all my graphs, it's going to have what the core clock was locked at and what the memory core was locked at for every single card that I benchmark. Um, I'm never going to do benchmarks that aren't shunt modded uh, or power modded of some sort. So the clock speed is always going to be locked for all these numbers. So keep that in mind. You get to see what I put there for the uh, in the graphs. The bar graphs are only going to have uh, the two GPUs at a time because I'm going to be adding more GPUs to these graphs as I go along. So that's why there's only... Um, I, I didn't bunch up DLSS and 4K in the same one because as soon as I add one more card, that's going to be another two data points. So uh, just bear with it for now, but I'm going to add 2080 Super... 3090, 3070 as we go along, and then it'll just kind of fill it out over time. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I guess let's just get into it right away. Let me let me start this. Uh... I wish that you could save me from my isolation. It's way too complicated. Let's start this conversation. I bet you weren't expecting that. Actually, neither was I, to be honest. I was not expecting that. Actually, I kind of, I kind of was, because I know they're the same, but I, I didn't know that. They, they literally didn't improve the RT cores like at all between generations. I don't like. It seems like all the improvement came into DLSS. I guess now we know why Digital Foundry used. Uh, control in their initial review benchmarks and with uh with doom eternal like the the two games that ampere scales the best like the oh come on 
if it's a paid promotion or a paid video, just 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 don't trust it. It means nothing. It means nothing. I also like how Linus released a video of the 3090 and then it was like paid promotion. And then it was like, this is the greatest card ever. And then the video the next day that wasn't paid, he was like, this is so disappointing. What's the point of this thing? It's like, <laughs> the Kool-Aid makes a comeback. It, it, the people are still drinking it, still drinking. So pretty much all those graphs were a complete waste, of, not a waste of time. Um, the biggest difference is going to be control. That one, I guess, can utilize the Ampere architecture the best. But then, when you go to Wolfenstein, Youngblood, I'm not sure if it's Vulcan. I think it is Vulcan. I'm not sure. But that one utilizes Turing better. Uh, that one, Turing destroyed Ampere in that one until you turn DLSS on. And I guess the... Um, the majority of the gains that Ampere had over Turing in these benchmarks were all the DLSS ones. Like, uh, a, a good 10 FPS above what the Turing one had. at the, And they're both using the same driver version too, so it, it wasn't that. Um, I think the, the DLSS in Ampere definitely is improved. That's what it looks like anyway. But our RT is the same. Rasterized performance is generally the same i want to say in gaming synthetic benchmarks can utilize those cores a lot more that's why in port royal the score was much higher right you can actually get better 1080p gaming out of a 2080 ti than you can a 3080 it's it clocks 200 megahertz higher and uh they were both drawing the same power as well that i didn't i forgot to mention that as well actually um I had the 3080 locked at 975 millivolts there, and it was drawing about 450 watts. The 2080 Ti was also drawing about 450 watts. I think NVIDIA knew it was the same too. They, they, it's the same number of SMs. There, as soon as these, as soon as like big tech tubers come out with like these kind of numbers, it's gonna funnel all 2080 Ti buyers to the 30. Like they're gonna make bank on those 3090s, like because. What, what option do you have? If you have a 2080 Ti and you have a power mod on it or an unlocked BIOS, it's the same thing. You literally get like within four FPS. It's whatever. It is what it is. I, we, this isn't so, if you've been following me for a while, you know this isn't surprising at all. But uh, feel free to go back, pause the video, do your own benchmarks. Uh, if you need clarification on what settings I used, if the, if the title wasn't good enough, Comment down below and I'll tell you exactly what settings I use so you can compare with mine. I'd be happy to do that for you. Um, also, keep in mind if you do have a 3080 and you're running it stock, my 2080 Ti my numbers might be higher than yours. I mean, we like Again, if you're a follower of mine for a long time, my 2080 Ti was faster than the stock 3080 and some of those leaked benchmarks, right? It Like... You, you can make a 2080 Ti go faster. This is just more evidence of it. Although, I I was wrong in when I said that the 2080 Ti can go faster, except in ray trace. Oh, I mean, I wasn't wrong, but like, I was expecting at least two times the performance in ray tracing. Like, like DLSS, sure, but in ray tracing, I thought, like... Again, where did all that transistor budget go? As I was saying, like, like they, they, they like tripled the transistor budget, but it's performing almost exactly the same. Like, I don't know. It has to be for the professional market. Nothing else makes sense. Like nothing. I, I don't, I don't know how to do professional benchmarks. I would just defer to uh, the bigger tech tubers for that stuff, but they also don't have a, 2080 Ti clocked as fast as mine, but the only thing that makes sense is that entire transistor budget that they put in there, which makes the the Ampere card clock slower, is literally all for just like professional workloads that can actually utilize double FP32. Games don't do it, not really. So yeah, it's the same. It's the same, unfortunately. I, and then I'm sure once we actually get to regular gaming benchmarks, it'll probably be the same.
it, it is what it is. This video was kind of unexciting. It was just like everything that we thought was going to happen kind of happened. So then there, there's nothing really to go off of, you know what I mean? But whatever, let's move forward. Oh yeah, on another random note, when uh, when Jay's Two Cents got 10th place uh, in Port Royal with his 3080, I like hooked up that air conditioner back to my 3080 and I took 7th place and I knocked him out of it. That was pretty sweet. Uh, me and my Discord were having a good hoot at that. Just because I had a shunt mod and with an air conditioner, obviously I'll take it. I'm like, I'm like 30th place now after the 3090s got launched. The, the, I don't, the 3080s aren't obsolete, but they're obsolete in terms of the 3D Mark Hall of Fame now. There's 3090 or bust now. It, it is what it is. But I had my moment for a split second and I got a picture of it. You bet your ass I bragged to all my friends too. And called them plebs. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Um, I want to let you know, if you want to be a part of the Frame Chaser community uh, in Discord, join now because I'm going to be making the Discord private once I hit a thousand subscribers. And the reason for that is it's it's kind of already starting to happen where the the more people start to notice my content, the more that people are joining the Discord. And they're not even really participating in the conversations. They just go right to, like, sliding into my DMs. And then they just ask me questions. Like, and really personal, not personal, but, like, personalized ones. Where they're like, hey, dude, my Ryzen clocks to 2 gigahertz. What am I doing wrong? And then I would be happy to help the person. But when I get that message 20 times from random people, I... At some point, I have to close the Discord off to randoms. So if you... We have a really good group over there. If you want to get involved, now is the time before I hit 1,000 and close it off. I'm just letting you guys know for people that watch my entire video all the way to the end. This is for you. Get in there. Get in there. Forewarning, though, you, you got to have a thick skin to... Yeah, not... Uh, to, uh, how do I, how do I put this? How do I put this? We, we razz each other a lot in there. So like, we were making fun of this one dude for having a 2080 Ti because he doesn't have a 3080. So he's a pleb now, like that kind of stuff. So if, if you're sensitive to being razzed, even though we're all really supportive, we do like to joke with each other a lot. So if you're sensitive to that, it's probably not the place for you. But, uh... We got a good squad of guys in there. We got a good squad. If you're interested in that, get in there. And of course, we help each other get cards when it's launch time. So that's another bonus. Uh, yeah. Anyway, end of the video for real this time. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at a thousand. It's gonna happen. I can feel it. I can feel it. Uh, do all that YouTube SEO stuff for me. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to comment what you want me to do with the 3090 today when I get it. I'm going to be playing with that thing like crazy. What do you want me to do with it? And uh, I'll see you guys in the unboxing. Talk to you later.